Hey guys, Thunder E here, and yep, I have the WH-1000 Mark Vs from Sony. And in this video, I'm gonna see how well they compare against the Mark IVs from Sony, as well as the AirPods Max. Now, as you can see, I'm clearly not in my studio. I am traveling, and I got to actually use these headphones with me on the road, and to see how well they perform. Now, the Mark Vs come in two color variants we've got, of course, the silver right here, the color silver, and the black version. This is more like a beige color. And you can clearly see Sony has changed the design language for these headphones. You've got thinner headbands compared to the Mark IVs. Uh, you've also got a kind of wider base to it, softer ear cups, different design, much cleaner traction across when you're just expanding the headphones altogether. But they do not collapse in like the Mark IV, so you do have that there, similar to the, the AirPod Max, which don't collapse in as well. Now, let's talk about our very first point, weight, comfort, right? How light are they and how comfortable are they compared to the other two? So I'll start off with the least uh, comfortable and also the heaviest, which is the AirPod Max. Those are much heavier, and uh, the, because they have metal parts, uh, the does have a nice top headband, which rests pretty well, but I've noticed that I can only wear them for about maybe an hour or two before I start getting pain around here, just because of the weight. Now, the Mark IVs are very comfortable, and I was able to wear them for a long time, and I use them quite regularly, but I think the Mark V takes the case because compared to the Mark IV, they weigh only 250 grams compared to the 254 grams of the Mark IV, and they are so much lighter, especially when using it on the long flight, I flew down to the West Coast. So that's about, you know, six hour flight, I was able to wear them comfortably on the plane without any issues. So next up, let's talk about controls and functionality. All three have, you know, different controls. The Mark IVs and the Mark Vs are similar, so I kind of grouped them together compared to the AirPod Max. Now, Apple has that crown, which is really easy to use and simple to use, especially for skipping tracks, rolling forward, while the Mark IVs has the touch sensitivity on the right ear cup, now it is definitely improved on the Mark V, being able to swipe left or right, of course to change your track, up or down to increase your music, and then you do have function buttons on your left ear cup. You do have the power button, which also substitutes your Bluetooth button, uh, pairing button, as well as also your active active noise cancellation button there. I would say Apple's simplicity works pretty well. I kind of give them the edge there, but the Mark V's come in second because the touch sensitivity works really well, but I'll give Apple the edge there on that part. Now let's get into the heart of the matter, active noise cancellation. So all three do a really good job at active noise cancellation. And last year, I build that the, um, AirPod Max had a slighter edge over the Mark IVs, just a little bit. And I think this year, Sony has taken the full crown because uh, the noise cancellation to me has been very good over the years. And with the Mark V, it takes it a step further with its active noise cancellation, how well it does that. It's got eight microphones for active noise cancellation, and the software does a really good job at sensing your environment. And we'll talk about softwares in a second, but it allows you to, it knows your location and environment so that it can actually tune the active noise cancellation to match your location. Or you can manually do it if you want to, which is why you have that physical button there or within the software itself. So I give active noise cancellation to the uh, Mark Vs, but honestly, all three are really good with active noise cancellation. Now let's get into software. With the AirPods Max, you really have nothing in terms of software. You can do your volume controls. You can switch to transparency mode on there. And that's pretty much it. There's some EQ settings you can go into the iPhone, but it really doesn't give you an in-depth look. While with the Mark IVs and the Mark Vs, you do have Sony's very robust software. There are more improved features on the Mark V, which I actually want to show you. One of them is adaptive sound control. Now this one is pretty cool because you can go in and it can detect your actions if you're walking, if you're sitting like I am doing right now, or whatever activity you do, and it adjusts the active noise cancellations to your environment. It can also learn with location, so depending on the location, if you give that ability to the software itself, uh, know that, okay, this is a busy area, so therefore I want my noise cancellation to be maybe lower just because I'm crossing the street or I'm walking around here 
more often. So those things are pretty cool. You also have the ability to connect to two devices at the same time. So I can see I have my iPhone and my Galaxy connected together. Um, and then we do have sound controls. We have things like speak to chat, where once I start talking, then um, basically allows me to hear my environment and also drops down my music. I can go into my ambient sound controls. I also have the equalizer and we will get to the sound in a second for all these here, where I can change my equalizer setting. I can also customize it as well. 360 reality audio is there. And of course, these headphones support LDAC if you're using it, of course, on an Android device, like the Galaxy and the iPhone, there's no LDAC support there, but you do have LDAC as well as also DSEE Extreme uh, support with that. Now, the one thing I will add though is that you do have quick access buttons where you can actually go ahead and set access buttons functionality for your active noise cancellation button where I can double tap with it twice to access my Spotify playlist immediately. So I don't have to actually look for it anything on the phone, or I can set it for a triple tap so I can switch between my devices. So whatever I want to do, I can do that. And that to me is one of the best part with the much more robust software to give you more functionality with these headphones. So software can be great, but honestly, it's about audio. That's where everything lies. If it doesn't sound good, then it doesn't matter. With the AirPods Max, we know they sound really good and Apple's done a really good job there. I'm not a big fan of adaptive EQs. I think it takes away from some of the sound, but still it is a solid pair of headphones in terms of audio. The Mark IVs really do a really good job, but some people complain about bass and which is why the software helps cue some of that. With the Mark Vs here, you do have different drivers from the Mark IVs. They're now 30 millimeter drivers, making it much lighter, but also I think better with the base reduction. I've, I was, I've found that the base reduction was much better on the, Mark, um, on the Mark V's over the Mark IVs. So it sounded cleaner, it sounded richer, uh, and also those highs came out better and better separations between your mids and your highs. So for me, I definitely like that. The EQs are there where you can go play around with more, but I really like the sound here. And I think um, in comparison to the AirPods Max, I kind of like them a little bit better than the AirPods Max, maybe because of that, you know, adaptive EQ, but they sound really, really good. Now, AirPods Max and Apple has done a good job over the years with their microphones. They work well. The Mark IVs were really good last year, and I think the Mark IVs even do a slightly better job this year. But honestly, I've used all of them for phone calls, and no one has known the better or could tell the difference, and I'll say solid. All around. All right, so finally, let's take a look at what extras you get. Well, with the Mark IVs and the Mark Vs, you do does come with a carrying case. Uh, unlike the AirPods Max, where you do have to get this kind of like purse style case that doesn't fully protect the device, and the device is still prone to scratches, which is why I have a Spigen uh, case cover over my AirPods Max. And honestly, this thing would have been scratched up more if I used it that way. The Mark Vs do come with a USB type C to USB cable, as well as also a 3.5 mm cable. And of course the AirPods Max don't, you have to buy that separately. You do have the same packaging for the Mark IVs. So who is the new king? When you look at all the prices, AirPod Max 549, you can get it slightly cheaper. Um, while the Mark IVs are priced at 300, you can definitely get them way cheaper. And the new Mark Vs are priced at 350. Who gives me the best audio, best bang altogether? And honestly, it's the Mark Vs. I think the new improvements in terms of software, active noise cancellation, audio are truly impressive in basically stating out what you, sh you actually get from these headphones. I really like it. I think they are solid. And I think you, the, the color range is also that, that silver, as they call it, looks really nice. And uh, it's just a great overall uh, over the ear headphones that I think anyone will pick up. So guys, if you have any questions, any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment. All right, time for me to listen to some music.